morning everybody today is saturday january 16th <laughs> It is about 8 a.m. I am just waking up and I'm about to go ahead and get dressed and head over to the grocery store. I like to get my grocery shopping done on Saturdays and I just think it's a lot easier. There's less people early in the morning when you go, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually go with my mom, go to two different grocery stores. We're gonna go to our Caputo's grocery store and then we're gonna go to um, Aldi today and I just get a few things at each place because sometimes I find stuff is cheaper at one store than the other Also might go to the Nike store because I need to get new gym shoes because my Nikes are just a mess and I need to get new ones I have the Nike free runs and I really like those so hopefully they have something kind of similar if I go there So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed. I think it's snowed outside So next stop, we're going to Aldi we're gonna get strawberries. Gotta check them first. We're gonna get asparagus. You always get asparagus from Aldi. I usually get two. And then lettuce. What kind of you gonna? I'll get one of these. I haven't been having too much lettuce any at work for lunch. So I usually get this one. I'm also gonna try this because I've never tried this one before. I'm just gonna not add the bacon pieces that are in it because I don't eat bacon. So salad all good. All right, overview of what I have. I just got some sharp cheddar cheese. I got the blue cheese that I love. I always get this from Aldi. It's like one of my favorites here. I got these little turkey snack sticks. These are my favorite for like a snack. And then we have all kinds of lettuce and stuff, so. Okay, these are my favorite low-carb tortillas. I always get these. Um, if you're doing like a low-carb diet, these are my favorite ones from Aldi. Um, they're four net carbs, so super good. All right, guys, so I don't know how much of the vlog footage that I got at Aldi in the grocery store is gonna actually be usable because every time I started to like try to start filming someone would come by or like I would be in the way and I always feel so rude when I'm like standing here with the camera and like hi like and people are trying to shop so I don't know how much of that footage I'm gonna put in but I'm gonna try to put in some of it to show you guys some of the things that I get if you guys would like me to do like a whole full grocery store like haul video I've done one in the past and you guys really like that so if you guys want me to do another one let me know and I can definitely do that um other updates I am I haven't shared on the vlog or my YouTube channel yet, but I am sitting in my brand new car. I got a Jeep Compass over, I think like a month ago in December, and I just never vlogged about it. So I'm driving a Jeep Compass. I'm obsessed with my car. I love it so much. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you would know that I been wanting this car for the past two years it's on my vision board for the past two years and I love everything about it it's absolutely perfect um and it's just it's so just exciting to finally get something that you've been working so hard for so I just wanted to share that I'm in my new car I love it so much I love the black interior it's a pearl white color black interior I'll pop a picture up here so you guys can see it. I'm sitting in my garage right now. Um, but I posted on Instagram uh, a photo of my car. So if you guys aren't following me over there, definitely do. That's where I'm the most active. So I yeah. just left Ulta. I have my mask hanging here because I am in line at Chick-fil-A. I am getting lunch because I'm really, really hungry. It's like 11, almost 12 actually. It's 11.51. I am gonna get lunch because I just was out um, running some errands um update we went to the outlet mall and they didn't open till 11 and we went there at like 10 so i was like i really don't want to sit at the mall for an hour so we just left i just went over to ulta and picked up some kenra like hair boosting stuff i can show you guys in the bag it is the kenra dry volume instant soft hold volumizing hairspray um not hairspray just a volumizing spray and it kind of gives you texture as well um so i bought that because i needed some texturizing spray because my hair is like kind of flat in the front and i just needed something like i just need some volume um the days that i don't want to like do my hair too much and it starts getting flat like 
dry shampoo is not for me let me know what your favorite dry shampoos are a lot of people rave about batiste dry shampoo but honestly guys i hate it i don't think it works at all and it makes my hair even greasier and i just i don't like maybe i don't use dry shampoo the right way i don't know what it is but that's that so i'm gonna pick up lunch right now because i'm really hungry and i figured i can have a moment to sit and chat with you guys about some updates and just like what's going on while i eat so kind of like a little mukbang in this um vlog so yeah i'm sitting in line at chick-fil-a it's pretty long they're always long but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and wait i'm like two cars to my order i did a mobile order though so um i'm like two cars away and then i will chat with you guys once i get my food so i got chick-fil-a my go-to order at chick-fil-a is the grilled cool wrap it's my absolute favorite i love to get it with the avocado lime ranch dressing this dressing is so good it's a little bit not the best for healthy eating but it's fine it's the weekend it's saturday this is my cheat meal so we're gonna enjoy it. I got a small fry on the side, and then as my side instead of fries, I got mac and cheese, but I got both because I love Chick-fil-A's french fries. They're so good. I love the waffle fries. Mm. And they're so good when they're fresh. Just saying. I also got the mac and cheese because the mac and cheese is so good from Chick-fil-A. Looks like that. Focus camera. My G7X camera is having a hard time focusing lately and I don't know what the issue is with that, but it's very annoying. I wanted to just sit here and eat with you guys and kind of chat because I haven't really posted any videos for the new year besides like one video. And I just kind of needed a break from YouTube because I just was feeling like super uninspired and a lot of you guys like want me to do more hauls, which is really great because I love doing hauls, but I feel like I'm being like strangled by my jacket um i feel like doing a lot of hauls sometimes is really like time consuming because when i'm doing like a ton of hauls it just i have to be inspired by the clothes i'm buying and if i'm not inspired then i don't like i don't want to buy anything so that's why there hasn't been many hauls on my channel so good mm. Mm. Perfect. I got a large Diet Coke. So, today I'm going to be filming a Walmart try on haul. And I'm really excited because it's been forever since I've done a Walmart video. And I know that you guys really enjoy the Walmart videos. It's been also finding it really hard to buy clothes because it's like... I have nowhere to go like I'm not traveling I'm not going places so like where am I gonna wear all these cute outfits like yes I can take pictures for Instagram but it's like I don't want to buy things that are not it took me forever to open this ketchup packet I don't want to buy things that I'm not necessarily going to be able to wear so so there's that there's like a ton of cars in this parking lot. There's like so many people eating their Chick-fil-A in their cars. It's the way of life now. <laughs> I'm feeling like Trisha Paytas right now in the car. Um. Also, I wanted to briefly just talk about weight loss as I'm eating Chick-fil-A. But I wanted to talk about it because I haven't really brought anything. I haven't really talked about weight loss on my channel. In like a really long time because I just haven't really been on my a game with it and it's been like really hard during this pandemic to lose more weight because like I didn't go to the gym for like nine months and I recently just started going back so that has helped a lot but it's just like been really hard with the eating because it was the holidays and all that and then like the weekends I just I always end up eating bad things like today um it's totally fine to have your days where like you have a cheat meal but like for me my cheat meals sometimes turn into cheat days 
not just day, days. So there's that. I keep looking this way because there's somebody sitting in the car over here. And they're probably like, this girl is talking to a camera. I feel like, I'm feeling like Trisha right now. Ah, making a mess. Been seeing all this um, YouTube drama with Trisha on YouTube. With like Jeffree Star and Jeffree Star's um, like person that does his wigs, like his hair hairdresser. I don't really know exactly what he does. I know he does their wigs because, or like does his wigs and they went to Vegas and they did all that stuff and she posted a video yesterday about some live that the hairdresser did and like he was just being so disgusting to her. I don't even remember what his name is, but he was being so, just speaking so nasty about Trisha. Um... I'm assuming it sparked from like the H3H3 -H3 podcast that she does with Ethan, the Frenemies podcast, which I listen to. She like just talked about an experience that she had as a customer and she felt that he overcharged her. Um, she also felt that Jeffrey and him were being like mean girls. And she's completely valid in her feelings. And I 100% believe Trisha. Because you don't just make up something like that. Like, obviously, the Vegas trip wasn't good. Her and Jeffrey haven't spoke since then. And that hairstylist guy, like, he just honestly made, you know, Trisha's story even more believable than what it already was. Because he's sitting there bashing her for her skin, her weight, just, like, all of all of these things. Like, just seeing some really vile things. Just It's just really sad, like, grown adults are speaking about somebody's physical appearance like we're above that this isn't like high school catty mean girls like it's just it's sad and i really feel bad for trisha because i feel like she was getting in a good place with like her and moses and like now i don't know i just feel bad for her i actually met trisha i met trisha Three years ago? Maybe two years ago. No, it was definitely three. I met her three years ago on her tour that she did. She was such a nice, kind soul. And um, sometimes things that she does I don't always agree with, but she is really just a really nice person. And But I don't know. That whole drama was just like, I couldn't even believe it yesterday. I don't even know if I'm going to actually upload this video because eating on camera is kind of weird but how are you guys doing how is your new year going so far mine's okay it's been a little bit more stressful but it's fine i mean it is what it is so i can cheese like super cheesy today trying to like just focus on getting my mental health in a better place to film videos which i feel like i'm getting there only working out again has helped me a lot um like i'm going to the gym yes i'd like to lose some more weight but going to the gym now is just so much more than just for me to lose weight it's for me to get healthier to get stronger and it's crucial and beneficial for my mental health um i briefly talk about these things i don't always talk about it but if you guys have been following me for a while you know that i do have anxiety as far as i can remember i've had anxiety so um yeah it's just it's been a challenge and it definitely plays on my self-confidence and then when I don't feel confident, I don't want to make content. So it's not that I don't like making content, but like sometimes my anxiety is so like crippling that it's hard for me to do other things and it's hard for me to film. Um, so trying to make the best of the situation in this world right now because I'm just, I really just want like a break, vacation. Like I think everyone's on that same boat, but 
I don't feel safe enough yet to travel. I just, I want, I, I, I just hope that by the end of the year, we could at least do something. So the new year comes, I always start thinking about my birthday. And I'm like, my birthday's not until the end of April. But I'm always like, last year's birthday was during in Illinois, at least for myself. I don't live in the city of Chicago, I live in the suburbs. But last year for my birthday, which was the end of April, we were in lockdown. Couldn't go to restaurants. Couldn't do anything. Literally couldn't even leave your house besides going to the grocery store. And that sucked because my birthday, like I did do a vlog on my birthday and it was, you know, great. My, my family did, you know, such a great job of like trying to make the best of the situation. Cause usually for my birthday, I mean, my friends get a hotel in the city and then we go out to the bars or we just do something like we just go out to like a brunch, but we always get a hotel room and just kind of like relax and just, we, I always celebrate my birthday that way. So that or I'm on a trip I go to Florida because you guys know how much I love Florida either I'm I'm in Disney World or I'm visiting my family in Fort Lauderdale I'm hoping that this year I could try to do something hopefully outdoor dining and like indoor dining will open again because it's not open here a lot of restaurants are not ab abiding by the, the rules and it is what it is but um I just hope that I can actually like do something for my birthday even if it's I like, just rent a hotel room enjoy the views and r order room service that would be fun to me honestly at this point for me it's a change of scenery that's what I need but who knows we still have flight credits from when we were supposed to go to Vegas in April last year and like we as a family have to decide by march what we're gonna do with that money or otherwise we're gonna lose it so i'm hoping that by the end of the year we're able to travel because i think maybe we might book something to do we might go to florida and visit family or if it's safe enough i would like to go to disney world um even if it's like me and my brother i'd love to see star wars land because I know he hasn't seen it either. Galaxy's Edge. We'll see. We'll see what the future has for us. Hopefully it gets better. But. A little bit of my wrap is still left. And some fries. But I'm still full. So. Yeah. I think I'm going to head home now. Clean all this stuff up. Wipe down my car a little bit. And then I'm going to probably get ready to film because i'm gonna film a video for my walmart try on haul so i'll check in with you guys later i don't know how much of this mukbang i'm gonna actually put into my vlog but i'll probably put in the key points and cut some places so yeah but anyways i will see you guys when i look probably presentable <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm about to sit down and film my Walmart haul. Just a few things. I went ahead and used that Kenra blowout um, stuff that I talked about earlier in the vlog. Love it. I think it gives great volume. I will try to remember future Stephanie. This is your reminder. Link it down below. We're going to start filming and yeah, so I will see you guys once I'm done filming this video. And then I'm probably going to start editing the vlog or something. I don't know exactly what the rest of this Saturday night is going to lead to. Nothing that exciting. But I just wanted to check in with you guys. I put on makeup. I just, it's amazing how putting on makeup can just change your mood. So, I'm probably going to also take Instagram pictures in a little while because I haven't posted and I need to. So, let's film All right, this. just finished filming and I just am so obsessed with this oversized, um, like, matching set i showed you guys in the haul you guys will be seeing that video i think after this one but oh, look at how beautiful it is it's just like a beautiful like pink and just oh, i love it it's so pretty so i'm gonna actually go try on all these clothes and get that out of the way and then i'm gonna i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm wanting to re-watch all american because 
it's coming back out on monday on the cw and i think i'm just gonna wait till the senate the season finishes before i watch it on netflix again but i really like want to refresh my memory because you know it's been a while i watched that when quarantine started so it's been a while that was like back in march in april so anyways i'm gonna go try on all these clothes take pictures for the gram and then yeah i don't know what else i'm gonna do i'll see we'll see what today brings this is just literally a day in my life but like a weekend day in my life like a saturday in my life because it's just filming filming and then watching netflix so and eating takis at some point okay i will see you guys when i finish filming this trip. all right guys so it is let me turn this brightness down it is a few hours later i just got out of the shower i just needed to take like a hot steaming shower i have like a little bit of a headache and i don't want it to go into a migraine so i just took a really nice shower i used like a lavender body soap i just felt like very relaxed and calm and now i'm going to continue watching youtube videos and maybe possibly um watch some netflix or hulu i don't know yet but i'm getting my ipad getting my subscriptions and ready to watch some youtube so i'm gonna do that and just probably relax for the rest of the night might watch some tv shows with my mom and yeah so i will see you guys a little bit later to try good morning guys so today is sunday i woke up a little bit later i wanted to sleep in i had a really bad headache last night so i just kind of honestly took a really hot shower went to bed a little bit after that because i just had a headache so um yeah so this morning i'm gonna head over to target i have to get a few things just for the week and also uh it's snowing outside i don't know if you guys can tell it's snowing i'm over winter i want it to end i'm sick of the snow let me put you guys down for a second i also want to go check to see if target has any tripods that i can get for my car that i can vlog a little bit more on a daily basis um so yeah um i'm wearing my clickbait merch like always i love it so yeah i'm gonna head over to target now i might stop and get starbucks because i need something i need coffee i have water so i'm gonna try to drink this whole 24 ounce of water before I get to Target, which probably isn't a good idea, but I need to drink all of that before I have my coffee. All right, so let's go to Target. All right, so I'm at the store home, at home, and I'm getting a new lunchbox. So I'm deciding between this sparkly one or they have this like marble one, it's a little bit bigger. I always have a lot of containers because they bring like salads and lots of sides, but they also have this one. It's a marble container. Marble container. A marble lunchbox, but it has like this gold glitter with like the strap. And then they also have these Longchamp looking lunchbox lunch bags. They look like this. They look like Longchamps, but they're insulated uh, lunch boxes. So I'm deciding which lunchbox I want. Okay, hi guys. So it is about it's 12:11 on sunday i got back from the store um you guys saw me go to at home i went to target got a few things now i'm trying to clean up my room because it is such a mess like i need to make it a resolution or not even a resolution because i don't like saying resolutions a goal to just not have my room get out of control messy because it's i don't even have space on my desk right now like if you guys could see it it's just an absolute mess it's just like makeup that needs to be put away, new makeup. I just like have so much random stuff. So today I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon cleaning everything up. I'm wearing this sports bra from um, Walmart that I'm in my recent haul, which you guys I think are gonna see that video before this one. I'm gonna edit that later today. But I just have so much stuff that needs to be put away. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Organizing, oops, organizing all of my makeup and I'm also going to go through some of my makeup drawers and get rid of all this old makeup. So, I don't know if it's just me. Does anybody else have a really bad habit of just, like, when you get stuff for, like, Christmas or anything, you keep it in its original packaging. And then you just have all this original packaging of stuff just literally sitting around and you don't even use it. Is it just me? So, I also have a ton of stuff from BoxyCharm the last few months. 
Um, so let me just show you guys what was in there. So I think this was December's boxy charm because I have January's here. December's had this Artist Couture Caliente um, eyeshadow palette. Looks like this. Don't know when I'm going to use these colors, but it's another palette. <laughs> Um, I got this Elmas Superfood Glow Primer, some moisturizer, brightens, nourishes, and hydrates. Let's see what it looks like. I didn't open any of this stuff up. That's what it looks like. I think this stuff is like super good. I think I've heard a few people talk about that. Um, Glamnetic Lashes and Glamnetic Magnetic Liquid Liner that I have yet to try. This is literally an empty NYX package. I have this Eloise Get Lit Metallic Foiled Liquid Eyeshadow in Pure Gold. Looks like this. That's so pretty. I have yet to use this. So, we should probably use that in a video soon. Um, let's see what else. Okay, I also got this velvet palette from, I don't know how to say this brand, London, something, Kiate London, ugh, I totally butchered that, but, ah, little plastic things. This palette I'm obsessed with, like, look at how gorgeous the colors are, it's so pretty. Um, I love this palette. This is actually one of the first few palettes in my BoxyCharm that I actually really liked, and speaking of that, I need to go on BoxyCharm today and, like, let them know what I thought about this month's box. But I think this was from this month's box, if I'm not mistaken. I also picked up these new NYX things. I saw them all over TikTok. They're the Shine Louds. I got them in two popular colors. This one is in... I don't remember what shade these are in, but this is what they look like. They're, like, a nude color and a pinky nude color. Um... I saw everyone raving about these on TikTok, and honestly, I think they suck. Um, I like NYX as a brand. It's one of my favorite brands for the drugstore, but these dry out your lips so bad. And, like, yeah, you can put the gloss on, but, like, they're not comfortable. And I've seen a lot of girls be like, these are so comfortable. No, don't like them. Kind of a waste, but maybe I'll give them another chance, but probably not. The rest of my boxy charm from this month, we're gonna undo it. This is a fresh start, the month of January. I have a Bali Balm Sweet and Orange Lip Balm. It's like this. I can never go wrong with lip balms. I like to just throw them in my purse, have one at my desk at work, have one here. The next thing I got is the Dr. Brandt, which I'm really excited about. This is the triple peptide eye cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. This is what it looks like. This retails for like $82, which is it's crazy. The other thing I got is the Pharmacy Deep Sweep Pore Cleansing Toner. Looks like this. This is like a really heavy bottle. It is Laura Geller Illuminator Duo. It's the Heart of Gold Illuminator. Eee. This is what it looks like. Two really pretty colors. One for like more in the winter and then one for more in the summer, which I love these. And I've heard really good things about Laura Geller, so I'm excited to try those. That's pretty much organized all of that. So now I'm going to go ahead, just put this stuff away where it belongs. And I think I'm going to close up this vlog because it's been a long one, depending on how much I put in there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little like weekend in my life. If you guys want to see more vlogs like this, give this video a thumbs up. Maybe I'll start doing like weekly vlogs. Let me know what you guys want to see. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see all of your beautiful faces in my next video. Bye.